Hey guys, this is Brennan with Sonic Electronics and today we're going to be showing you how to wire a dual 4 ohm sub in parallel to a 2 ohm final impedance. So here we have our MVX VCW10 and one way we can tell it's a dual voice coil sub is that we have two sets of terminals on each side of the actual basket. Now you can read the impedance of each coil to verify that it is a 4 ohm load per coil just in case, you never know. So I'm going to go ahead and do that right now. First we want to go ahead and set our meter setting to the ohm or resistance setting take our test leads here and it doesn't matter which one goes to positive or negative it's just going to read the resistance now we also want to make sure that the woofer is facing up towards the sky because if it's facing down it will change or fluctuate the actual impedance so we're going to go ahead and attach our terminal leads here and we'll see that we have a 3.8 ohm load now it may fluctuate between 0 0.1, 0 0.2 off it doesn't matter as long as it stays steady we know we have a true 4 ohm woofer so now we're ready to wire our dual 4 ohm subwoofer in parallel to a 2 ohm final impedance and the things that you will need is some speaker wire jumpers here so we can actually parallel the coils together positive to positive, negative to negative. So let's go ahead and take our negative jumper lead here, attach it to voice coil number one negative, swing that around, got our positive jumper and go ahead and attach that to voice coil number one positive, swing that around as well. Now these leads are basically going to be going into your box terminal on the inside of the enclosure, from the box terminal to your amplifier. So we're going to go ahead and attach positive with positive, and then our remaining negative jumper is going to go to our negative lead. All right guys, so we successfully wired our woofer in parallel, I'm going to go ahead and double check our final impedance here, which should be 2 ohms. You'll notice our meter will read 2.0 to 1.8 to 1.7. Now if it's point off or 0.2 or 0.3 off, you know as long as it's steady that you got your final impedance right at 2 ohms. So again, that's how we wire a dual 4 ohm sub in parallel to a 2 ohm final impedance. I'm Brennan with Sonic Electronics, your source for everything car audio.